Good morning church, my name is Sarah Clark and I host the fitness small group. So there's a little plug and a little hint as towards what is my favourite verse today. So um, if anyone fancies it, drop me an email and you can come and do some fitness with us after you've been strengthened by this verse. So I just want to share with you one of my favourite verses ever which is Ephesians 6 verse 10. God is strong and he wants you strong. And that is it. And that's from the message version. If you'd like to have a different version, I've got one here for you. Finally, be strengthened by the Lord and by his vast strength. That is from um, the Christian Standard Bible. And both versions basically sum up everything that I feel called to do every day, which is help people come in alignment with the calling on their lives from God, but the fact that they're going to need to be physically and mentally strong as a part of that calling. And this verse is definitely one of my favourites for that reason. God is strong. There is no denying that. But the fact is that he wants you strong and you're going to have your own definition of strong. But I think I love this verse so much because when I was growing up, I definitely viewed Christians, and I'd class myself in that category, um, as weak. And I think society can sometimes see the things that typical, um, the Christian acts in society as being weak. You know, sometimes society classes kindness as being weak and going to the back of the queue as being weak. But really, you know, it's not weakness. But God never called us to be weak. And so, you know, if you ever feel, oh, I, I need, you know, God, I need to be weak. That is not what God is saying. And we know that because of this verse, he wants you to be strong. And really, we want to ch turn the word weak to meek, but being meek doesn't me make you weak. I need to say that slower. So the word meek here really means um, humility but not just humility but also knowing where your strength comes from so you are strong and but your strength comes from God and that is meek so we are called to be meek but not weak and we are called to be strong so in our strength as long as we know where our strength comes from and we call upon God as our strength provider then we are surely going to be strengthened and find the path of that we are called to be walking along um, easier because we can handle it. Um, so obviously um, I lift weights in my life. Um, I mainly do it for um, to try and conquer low moods but ultimately when you lift weights you tear muscles so you're breaking your muscle down for it to only then be strengthened by making more solid um, connections I did, and then ultimately making the muscle bigger but making it stronger. And so really I'm sure there's going to be some instances in your life where you can see that God has kind of teared your muscles slightly, you know, in, in lockdown or in um, dramatic events or family issues there's been times where your muscle has been torn but ultimately God has done that for a plan and for a purpose and that is to make you stronger and so you know there's two aspects that we can pull from this I actually um, have struggled with this a little bit you know where everything in my life is about getting stronger building strength sleeping better so I can get stronger, eating better so I can get stronger. Sometimes I can feel myself leaning on my own strength too often and forgetting where my strength comes from. So I just wanted to put that, if that kind of pulls some chords in your heart today, I want you today to try to remind yourself where does my strength come from? And obviously, you know, here, my strength comes from the Lord and hit by his vast strength and that can be your comforter too you can know that you can rely on his strength because ultimately our strength will fail and then the other side of that we can take from this verse is do you feel like you need to build strength 
Are there things that are going on in your life that you feel you need to be stronger for, whether it's physically or mentally or spiritually or emotionally strong, all of those um, things are really important and you know it's only really when we can reflect on them and spend time with God with them with God that he can show us where that strength needs to occur and then you know just like if I needed to make your legs stronger I would have a plan every week of what I needed you to do there is that in within God too and we don't need to have the whole plan written down but we need to trust that God has got that plan for us that that ultimate goal that you've got that you see as your calling and your purpose in life God is taking you on a road to get there and don't worry because he can see all the the mile markers before you can and then when you reach that destination I don't think there is a destination you will keep going and keep getting stronger but remember that your strength comes from the Lord And, you know, if that all feels a bit wishy-washy for you and you feel you need something to help remind you, just after this verse comes the um, armour of God verses. So, you know, um, put on the armour of God and it goes through the different items that we can put on, you know, and obviously we're not going to put them on physically, but if you could maybe make that a part of your morning routine, you know, as you put on your trousers, you can declare um, that you're putting on the armor of God. And when you're putting on your makeup or whatever it is, you just remind yourself that you're putting on um, the armor of God and you go through the things that um, he has given us in order to fight certain battles. So yeah, you're warming up in your day today, put on the armor of God, Remember and give thanks that your strength comes from him and not from you or from me. And also take heart that you are strong. You are strong because God has made you strong. He has declared that on your life. So take a hold of it and walk confidently out that door today, knowing that every single step that you take, he has gone before you. He holds you up. He has strengthened your muscle. He has strengthened your mind and that he is there when you need him. And he is always there. So yeah, let me um, pray for you this morning. Father God, we thank you so much that you are our ultimate strength, that there is nothing stronger than you, nothing, you know, we can only dream of diamonds, but Father God, you are stronger than that. And we just thank you that you um, impart some of that strength on us. We thank you for the lessons that um, has, you know, come into our lives so that we can gain that strength, we can build that muscle. And we pray, Father God, that as we go through the day today, may there be some awesome reminders that you are strong and therefore I am strong and that when I don't feel strong, I can lean upon you even more and my strength comes from you. So we just pray for incredible breakthroughs today, incredible steps and feats, Father God, in your name, Amen.